Right, here's the re what's called the Retreat Chapel. I only noticed it, thought it looked old, but there's, um, there's a little sign here. It says, uh, I think it says Retreat Chapel, or it could be Beth Bethel Chapel, 1847, I think. It's a little chapel. But what drew my attention, first of all, though it has gone like a little archway there, does sort of look a bit churchy, was a defibrillator. They've got a defib here, but it does look, and there is a chapel around here. Um, but it's on private property, I think. There is one somewhere. But, uh, Channel View. It might be in the, their back garden. There is somewhere there's a chapel. And that is probably an old chapel as well for used by in the past um, by the um, locals. That there. But there is a there is a better there's a more significant one I've seen. That's why I'm doing the road walk because I was. I don't think it was accessible before. In fact, I can see the top of it now. I think you'd probably have to get permission. It's, um, there you can see the roof there. It's got like a little cross on the top, I think. Got little crosses on the top, let's see. There and over there as well and uh, that is an old chapel that is I've taken pictures of it when I was walking along by the marshes and, and the river Parrot and I didn't know whether I don't think we could get in, in it before you probably, I mean, you probably have to ask one of the residents nearby I don't think you can get in I don't know, it might be accessible now. Oh look, it is. St Andrew's Church, Steer, 1887. This gate was donated in loving memory of Henry Fisher, 1938 to 2006. Wow, what a great find to end the day on. What a great find, everybody. Let's go in. Let's go in. This wasn't accessible before. Oh, I'm so glad I found this. Yeah, because I was up on the river bank and six years ago when I cycled by, I don't think there was any way here to get in. I don't think you can get in now. But I, I never got this close before either. I never got this close either. That's good, isn't it? It's nice to end up a walk with a, a find. It's always nice to end up a walk with a find. And of course it's across those fields to the riverbank. Wow, look at that. That's really good, isn't it? I'm so glad I found this. I suppose there's a few people that stopped and have come round to admire. Or maybe you couldn't get in it before either. If you know what I mean. Don't think you can see anything. And there's probably someone's got a key. Look, they've got a little seat though. A little seat. For further information regarding please contact Robin Prowse, Prow Church Warden. Dowell's Farm, oh yeah. Yeah, so... Oh! My God, it's open, everyone. I can't believe it. Look at this. What a great find. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's made of... Um, it feels... I don't feel like an old church in a strange little way. It's, I can't explain how it comes over, really. It's like a public bath, almost, because of the tiling effect. Wow. This is brilliant, everyone. 
This is really good. Do they call it, was it St Andrews it was called? What a lovely way to end my day. Someone would probably come so we're locking up now. Good job I got in before it happens, isn't it? Oh. Looks like it's still used. There's an old bell there, look. An old bell. I wonder if it's got any... No, it's not a lot on there. Uh, just wondered if it had a leaflet or anything. Probably have to go online. <sighs> There's me. Hi. Oh, look at that little tiny font. That is amazingly sweet. There's Tempe for now. I don't know if I've got any more. Look at that little font, look. Isn't that sweet? Wow, they must have restored it. I'm going to take some pictures now. This is amazing. Really is. Can I run out for a minute?